It's Denise Smith, D E N I S C S M I T H. And what is your official title here? I'm the elementary PE teacher at Otherburn Elementary. Okay. And can you tell me a little bit about what is happening here today? Well, for years, the, doing the mile run was kind of an obstacle for the kids. So many years ago, I created a Purdue Day, and that rewards the kids um, when they complete the mile run and in turn the President's Challenge of all the fitness components then I would throw them this big thumb Purdue convocation. And I started in 1995, and I went for 10 years. Then I had some illness and reasons I couldn't, and I'm retiring this year, so I said it's time to bring it back for one last big hurrah. <laughs> so we can stop, I'm sorry, one second. Um, this is rubbing against your Okay. Uh, the oh, mic is rubbing against causing a little bit of static. Yeah. Okay. Is that okay? Yep, that's fine. So we have to do it again? Uh-oh. Oh. That's, this is John Shondell. Okay, so we don't need to redo that question? No, we're okay. Right. Are you recording? Yep, okay. All right, so can you tell me a little bit about what Purdue Day consists of? Well, what it is, over the years being a Purdue grad and a Purdue athlete myself, I've got a lot of good friends, and what I do is I invite as many coaches and athletes from different sports. They come, they spend maybe five to seven minutes, and they either demonstrate their skills, and something like that, or they give like a nice little talk about um, school, stay in school, or hard work gets you places. So it's kind of like an inspirational message or showing lots of sports skills. So it's like a big, fun day for the kids and a reward for that fitness test. Let's do it again. Okay. Sorry. Can we just, can I just move this over just uh -huh. a little bit? There. Okay. Look, and there's the key. Okay. Okay. Um, do you want to redo? Just, I'm sorry, I don't you can touch to anywhere, <laughs> trust <Sorry>. me. <laughs> it's not, it's not even right. the real me that you're touching. <laughs> <laughs> I have. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm good. Okay. I could sorry. even take him off for you. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, we're good. We're, we're fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so why is it important that you do this uh, for the students? Well, ever since I've been teaching, I... I just want to go above and beyond and make things really special for the kids. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times I just think, what would make this unit more fun or how could I get them to participate more and enjoy it? So it's kind of my philosophy is make it fun, kind of make it over the top. So the Purdue Day just seemed like a natural thing to do to reward them. Because the mile run, we do it for grades one to six. Mm -hmm. So that's a pretty big challenge yeah. for first graders. And they all just jump in and do it 100%, and it's turned out awesome. Um, so since you are retiring this year, what is the future of Purdue Day here? Well, that's what, it's a hard thing. I've, I've had medical problems for five years I've been fighting, and it just seemed like it was harder for me to do my job. So after 32 years, I decided that I need to kind of take care of myself. So I would hope that somebody would pick up the ball and run with it. Because I do special things throughout the year. We have um, things going on in the fall. We borrow the Purdue inflatable equipment and do a fall frolic. We do jump rope for heart. We do the hoop shoot. We do a theme week um, based on a movie. So I do so many fun things. I hope somebody will continue that tradition. And what has been the most rewarding part of your job as a teacher? I, I'm a real people person, so I think just the relationships I've developed with my students and my staff members. Um, I see students from 25 years ago that come up to me and they say, oh, I loved PE when we did, and they'll name that particular event. So I think that was the most fun is just the memories I've developed with my students and my staff. Kids are important to me. Is there anything else that you would like to add? I just, I think teachers sometimes don't get the full encouragement from the outside world. And <laughs> I just want to say that, like our staff I know, as well as all the other teachers, we go above and beyond. And I think it'd be good for the public to realize that at these difficult times, because we've got a lot of great teachers out there. And I just, I feel like, I've always done that, and I encourage the new teachers in the field to do that, and, 
and the public you know to appreciate all the hard work of teachers